Hello everybody, this is Crow, flying at you with Scrap Garden. This will be episode 3 in the series. Now I will have to do a quick buzz through part of the game. I will speed it up for you on your end. I might end up just cutting uh, to it, in which case, in Um What ended up happening, I was going to re-record the entire game. I recorded about 15 minutes and only to find out that my webcam decided it was going to corrupt my files. So the game itself recorded, but not the webcam and my commentary. So there's that. Alright, so we're in chapter two. Uh, this would be right about where episode two started. So, um, so it'd be the episode before this one. So this will be episode three. Johnny, is that you? Oh, mighty gear wheel, and I thought I would never see a living robot again. But how is it that you are still working? Solar cells? <laughs> Why, of course. You must be the only remaining robot with such remarkable archaic modules. Well, 54 years have passed since that dark day, but I remember it as if it were yesterday. Everyone was going about their business when the great black wings appeared in the sky. The black wings of a dragon. Yes, yes, a real dragon. It was a vicious and relentless beast. It landed on the tower, clasped its claws around the crystal, and crushed it. The crystal's enormous energy was released in a brilliant flash, and all life in our city stopped. And I, I am the one to blame. Yes, it is all my fault. After all, I was the watchman, and it was my duty to protect the crystal, but I failed. I myself can still move only because I am close to its ruins. Until now, I thought that I survived only as a punishment for my guilt. But now, I see that together we have a chance to make everything right. After the crystal had been destroyed, four or five beams from the power sources are indeed broken. But the last, to the north, miraculously remains unmanaged. If you could manage to start the standby generator in the basement, perhaps I could activate the teleport to the northern lands. Take my stick, it is the key to the basement. Woohoo, I got a stick! Okay. To the basement? Oh, is that where I was keeping the stick, huh? With my head. It's all in your head! Ah! Zero and one. Canny, you started the generator. No one knows what happened to the power stations in the provinces. <laughs> Zero one is yes. Everything must have been yeah, completely eaten with rust there. But if we were able to repair those beams and focus them in the tower once again, we would have a chance to grow a new great crystal. You are a real robot, Canny. If only I had been as brave that day. I will wait for your radio signal here, and good luck, my friend. Although Canny was a robot, he did not trust teleports too much. And though he seemed calm on the outside, deep inside he was afraid. However, dimensional transport of matter went off without a hitch. The northern province appeared to be a desolate but beautiful place. For a moment, Canny even forgot why he had come here. When suddenly... Oh no! <laughs> good game, Canny. Good game. Alright, so now we're, we're where um, the last one ended. So hopefully at this point this means I've caught up. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to keep these a little sh on the shorter side for about 10 minutes or so. Um, what is that? It does not look pleasant, whatever it is. Let's go 
Vamos pegar um... Was was not expecting scorpions. Come here, come here, scorpion. Those ones are scary. I don't like them as much. But yeah, we're gonna try to keep these on the shorter side. Um, so, those of you who didn't know, I've actually moved. Um, my boyfriend and I just finished remodeling our one of our living rooms so we can actually game again, so that's part of why I've been away. Um, that and I've been working full time, so I didn't really have the energy to be not only going back and forth from um, my dad's house. Greetings, Traveler. I see that you have an independent power supply, haven't you? After we had lost all means of communication with the city, I became a hermit and learned to extract energy from the world around us. Back then, I found a cave, and it revealed something to me. I found that everything around us, the earth, wind, and sun, is full of energy. But we just let it slip through our fingers like sand. Do you want me to teach you? Hmm, I guess I can open up the cave for you. Once inside, you will discover its secrets for yourself. Yet, in order to conduct the ritual, I will require a handful of crystals and a new electrolyte boiler. Okay. Um. <laughs> as I was saying, I didn't really have—I didn't really have the energy to to go back and forth, um, and be um, recording as well. But I have—I have been streaming off and on. I've actually not even been on this computer in almost a month until today, so hopefully we'll be able to get um, videos back to going um, about one a week or so. I would like to be able to get back into into recording and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go with this is the cave, maybe? These are the new boxes, I think. There's thingies down there. I want them dead. I would like to kill them. I prefer the rats over the scorpions, personally, but... Especially because of scorpions, I keep <laughs> expecting them to, like, sting me. They have put so much work into this game. It is available on Steam now. Um, I know when I played it before, it was just the demo version, um, but I absolutely loved that game. I was so excited to see that it had finally um, become a full game on Steam. So you can bet I was 100% okay with paying whatever they wanted to charge for this game. I was okay with whatever. I did all that little backwards, but oh well. Ah! So I think that's what he needed, wasn't it? He need one of these. That's what he said he needed. Thingy! <laughs> wow, it's just right here, huh? You just set up camp right up front. Oh, it's dark in here. Booner! Why am I, like, shooting sparks out my back? Ow. I 
like I'm like dying. a brand new power module for the mountain base. I haven't seen anything like it for ages. It seems that the cave gives its visitors what they need the most. Ah. Venture forth towards your destiny, traveler. And I will ask the wind and sun to guide your way. Okay. I'm gonna go with this direction. But I could be wrong. It could be somewhere else. Yeah, this thing. What's with the what's with the face? Mm. All right. Gotta watch out for the spiky things. somewhere else. So I'll definitely have to be back in there at some point. Find the lost gear. conclusion we're gonna pick this back up on next episode so hope to see you all back here in episode four of scrap guardian this is crow and i'm gonna take off for now i'll see you guys next time bye fear my toast spirit fear my toast it's toasty goodness babies ah! can i have my
my gun back, please! No, 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 Fuck off! This is really creepy. This is so awesome. This is a lot better so far than it is. It is.